Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> it's Monday. It is Monday. And I don't know if winter is refusing to leave or if spring is refusing to arrive, but yeah. this is ridiculous. I like how the snow forecast is changing that, you know, minute by minute. Right. It's ridiculous. So we're supposed to get snow again tomorrow and on Wednesday. We are not excited about that. No. I'm much happier living in a place where I get to go to snow if I want it rather than having it come Under to me. Minute, right? That's yeah. ridiculous. So, good morning, Laura. Hey, Brandon. It's good to Laura, see you. Laura, Brandon. Good to see you. Uh, always fun. Um, so, how was your workout? Oh, workout. That's right. We did that today. We did? Workout was good. I did my cardio blitz mm -hmm. and then I did legs. And if you were here on Friday, you know that that means we didn't make it over the weekend. No. Because we, we did leg, he did legs today and I did arms today, which right. we were hoping to do over the weekend. But when I talked to you guys on Friday, I had forgotten that we were supposed to go to an idea exchange up in Philadelphia over right. the weekend. Which was fun. It was so fun. So yeah. what an idea exchange is, it's a whole bunch of interesting people. I think there were probably like 30 people there. Yeah, maybe, give or take, about 30. Um, who show up and they give you a name badge, except it doesn't say my name is. It says, lately I've been thinking about. And you get to put on there whatever you want. Right. So Russ put whole food plant-based on his, and I put um, ending chronic disease with diet on mine. And we ended up, you know, everybody just talks about whatever they're talking about. Obviously, everybody has their ideas or what they're thinking about on their badges. Right. So it was like three hours of just nonstop conversation. Stimulating conversation. With really smart, yeah. interesting people with interesting mm -hmm. ideas. I could have stayed all night, but our ride had to leave, so yes. we left. But... I'm definitely that person who could have been there all night. It was so yeah, much fun. I always assume we're the last to leave when we go to things like that. Always, because yes. I love it. Somebody, I was telling somebody about it, and they said, Robin, your extrovert is showing. Yeah, no <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's true. So that was a lot of fun. And then yesterday, um, we started working on the outline for a book. Yes. So. How exciting is that? It's kind of exciting. So if you have anything that you feel like absolutely must be included in a you know picture of a, a picture a book about whole food plant-based nutrition and you know ending chronic disease with mm -hmm. diet and all the things that we talk about if you feel like oh my goodness you have to include a chapter about let us know yes absolutely yeah laura you're silly punching clowns <laughs> completely silliness um but yeah, if you have an idea about what you think has to be in this book, let us know because we're in the outline stage and that's the point, you know, place where you start putting, put everything in that you right. think needs to go in it and then start taking stuff out so you don't write a tome. And what did you say yesterday? You said, I don't want to write a tome and we keep adding chapters and chapters and chapters. <laughs> it's funny. But you know what was exciting about not only in, in, in addition to the stimulating conversation on Saturday? What's that? Is that what we eat? We, oh, we ate at a place called Green... Oh, what's it called? Uh, we looked at it yesterday. Green, green, I can't remember what it's called. Uh, I wrote it in, my, in our journals. So Good morning, Kristen. Good morning. Uh, so we'll get that to you. But uh, the point being is that we were able to eat whole food plant-based. Yeah. Without we, a problem. It, there was salad dressing on the salads they made, but they had, you know, whole food. And they were really accommodating when we asked questions about, you know, what is in it, what's not. And they had some tofu that they threw yeah. on there, which we only eat when we go out. So right. that was fun. Hey, Shauna, what hey, are you Shana. asking? Yes, we're going to write a book. Yes. I've already written two, but th they're about um, conflict resolution. So now, good morning, mm -hmm. Sean. Um, now we're going to write a book about this stuff. This stuff, yeah. Uh, whole food, plant-based eating. There may be a chapter about intermittent fasting. We don't we don't know. Like right now, like I said, we're just in. Yes, hey, thank Bridget. you, Ken. Thank Smart you. Green. Or Sweet, sweet green. green. Thanks, Ken. I knew Ken would help us. Awesome. Green something. Right, Sweet Green, right. <laughs> Bridge is here, yay! Um, so yeah, we're in the process of the book. If you have chapters we need to include, we're throwing everything in there right now. Right. So let us know if you have something that you're like, oh my God, don't leave this out. Right. Um, and it, we want it to be a really um, accessible book. Yes. So there's a lot of books out there about this. Obviously we read them all the time. Right. And there's a lot of documentaries, but as we always tell you, oh my God, it's so dense. Right. I don't want to write a dense book. Right. I want to write a book that's just like we do here, where it's easy and accessible and people can learn from it and they can read the pieces that are relevant to them and not the pieces right. that aren't. Right. I mean, it's going to have like a get started section. It's going to have, right. you know, all that It's going to have stuff. our story in right. it. Right, have our story so, in it. Exactly. Yeah. I don't know. Right now, it's just the, the, the outline stage. So we'll see how that goes. Right. 
But that's what I want to share with you about the weekend because we had a lot of fun this weekend. And uh, Ken Grant, who just popped on here, he's the one who invited us to right. the so uh, thanks idea for that, exchange. Ken. That was fun. So yeah, thank you so much, uh, Ken, for inviting us and for uh, riding the train with us into Philly. So we had a good time. But I did want to give you some information about you know useful diet stuff because that's what we do here. We don't just talk about what we have going on. We talk about we useful don't. diet stuff. Dead. Oh, sorry. Dead. 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 No, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Comic relief. <laughs> it's all good. All right. So I wanted, I put on there. Let's talk about bacon because there's a you know uh, everybody loves bacon. It's a thing. Um, but processed meats in general oh. get talked about. But I don't want to just say processed meats because that's really vague. Yeah. So when when you hear processed meats, what people are talking about are things like bacon and ham and hot dogs and sausages and chicken nuggets cold and cuts. cold cuts yeah. and bologna and Anything that is not, <laughs> Laura's making the throw up face. <laughs> it's true, it's gross. Um, but anything that is a meat product that has had something done to it. So it's not like just a side of ham, or I mean, sorry, a side of beef, or something that's not just here cut up off the animal, here you have it. Right. And we've already talked about how meat is cancer promoting. So we, now we want to talk about processed meats, which have the cancer promoting aspect of meat, but then they're also a carcinogen. Right. And now you're like, wait, Robin, what? I'm confused. So let's talk about the difference between being cancer promoting, which is what we've talked about, the um, dairy, the casein right. in dairy is cancer right. promoting, and what it means to be a carcinogen. Because processed meat is a level one, that's not the word they use, they don't use the word level, but top Schedule level, one? no, it's a top level carcinogen according to uh, whoever the government is that measures such things. And carcinogen means it actually causes cancer. cancer right. And so we've talked before about what is cancer? What is the process of cancer? So our, our bodies replicate cells. We've talked about how like a trillion cells a day get made and replicated. Mm -hmm. So that happens. And sometimes the process doesn't work the way it's supposed to. Sometimes it breaks. And you might be right, Laura. I don't know if it's type one. I don't know what word they use. And I knew it and I didn't write it down and I failed. So I'm sorry. But, so back to cancer. <laughs> Your body creates these cells. Sometimes it doesn't work correct, quite right. And nine, about 99% of the time, maybe even a little more than that, your body goes, oh, that didn't work, and just kills the cell, and it's fine. Right. But every once in a while, and when you're replicating a trillion cells, even you know a tenth of a percent is a lot of cells, right. every once in a while, a cell replicates incorrectly, mm -hmm. and it doesn't get caught. Right. And being a carcinogen means it it causes that cell not that cells don't replicate properly. So causing cancer means cells don't replicate properly. So it increases the, the time the amount of time that that happens. Now cancer promoting means that when a cell doesn't replicate correctly and it doesn't get caught and killed and it starts to break you know turn into a little cluster of cells. Sometimes your body can go, oh, that didn't work, but it's too many cells for it to kill, but it can just stop the replication. And so right. you end up with these tiny little, they call them foci, of broken little cells that never become anything. Right. They just sit there and your body's like, well, that's super annoying, but it's not a big deal. Cancer promotion is when that little cluster of cells doesn't get stopped and it continues to grow. Right. So if you're eating processed meats, which like I said, are your hot dogs and, and your sausage, sausage right. and your bacons and all of that stuff, processed stuff, the cells not only are replicated wrong because that's cancer carcinogen, replicated wrong, but then it also has the animal protein in it, which causes cancer promotion, which causes now these broken so cells a, to grow. So it's a two bagger. It's a two bagger. Right. It's a problem. So, and the, the question is, okay, why? Why is this a carcinogen? And they're not really sure, but everything I looked at, I'm gonna give you some of the information, and this is a little bit confusing, but I'm gonna, I'll do my best to make it as simple as possible. Four hot dogs are as carcinogenic as a pack of cigarettes. That's 20, that, that blows my mind. That does. Four hot Thank dogs. Thank you for looking that up, Laura. She said it's a group one carcinogen. Thanks, Laura. I knew it was one something. Yeah. But four hot dogs, and I think about like the Coney Island hot dog contest. They're eating more than oh, four. I right? hate food this eating is contests. This equivalent so of, nasty. of the um, carcinogenic properties of a pack of cigarettes. A pack of cigarettes. That's right. crazy. So what they're saying is that if you can cut down your, your um, intake of processed meat even a little bit, it's going to make a huge difference. I know, Wendy, isn't it crazy? 
So what is it that's in there? So they put stuff in processed meats called nitrites. Right. And this gets confusing because these words sound the same, so I'm going to do my best to do this right. Nitrites. And the reason they use nitrites is because processed meats... Now listen to this. This is crazy. <laughs> if you don't have nitrites in them, processed meats grow botulism. Right. So basically you get to choose between cancer or a very serious foodborne illness that can kill you, right. botulism. Right. So they put the nitrites in there to... Um, to avoid the botulism, which is good. We don't want botulism. Yeah, I'm not And, that. you know, heaven forbid they tell us not to just eat this stuff. No, well, we don't want that. Well, no, we're going to try and be, fix it. It would be detrimental to the, um, the meat farm. It would be bad for the industry. Yes. Isn't that sad? It's sad. It's so sad. It bad for the industry. Now, here's the interesting thing. Your body gets a thing called nitrates, so with an A, nitrates, from vegetables that it turns into nitrites. Same thing that they are using in processed meat. Right. So why is it when it's in processed meat, it's bad for us, but when our body makes it, it's good for us? Can it have anything to do with vitamins? <sighs> so <laughs> I'm hoping I can make this clear. Nitrites in your body get turned into one of two things. Either nitric oxide, which we've already talked about is really good for you, good right. for your endometrial cells. Working out. Does, yeah, it's all good. Good things from nitric oxide. Or it can be turned into nitro cymines. Nitro, I'm not sure how to say the word, but it gets turned in, into a different thing in the absence of vitamin C, most vitamin C and plant stuff. Right. So they decided, okay, well, you know, we can fix it. We can fix it. We'll Absolutely. just add vitamin C to meat. And then your body will use turn it into nitric oxide. Nope. So doesn't work like so that. So what that basically means is they add vitamin C to processed meat. Processed meats. Right. right. But if you add vitamin C to processed meats, vitamin C doesn't do the same thing mm -hmm. in the presence of fat. In the presence of fat, it actually increases the nitrocymine production. Right. So basically your body turns nitrites into the bad thing right. if with processed meat right. because it doesn't have the, the vegetable stuff. But if you add vitamin C, which they thought was fixing the problem, it actually makes the problem worse. Right. And I did see one, one um, video that said that they're required to add vitamin C to process pork products. And the reality is it's actually worse. Right. And of course we're pixelated. Now we started pixelating. It's all right. They can hear us, and I have the video camera, so I'll post the not pixelated version on the r, &R Journey page. Right. So, in the process of fat, adding vitamin C to meat actually makes the problem worse, not better. So they made the problem worse, not better. Right. And then you have the whole issue that in processed food, you have the issue of listeria, mm. which is a foodborne bacteria, Lovely. but that's okay because it's been approved for them to be able to spray a bacteria eating virus on the food. So isn't this crazy? You have the natural product that's got all its issues all by itself, right? Without doing anything to it. Mm -hmm. And then they find out that it has all these problems. So they start adding other things that cause problems to fix the things that have problems. And then they have to add things to fix the things that they added to fix the things that have problems to fix the problem from the problem <laughs> caused by the things they added. <laughs> say that three times fast. I can't say it once slow. I, I don't get it. I don't understand. <laughs> So you've got that problem, and then um, so there's also they've add, they've approved that they're allowed to add radiation to meat to be able to sterilize it, and so now the meat industry has the opinion of who cares if there's fecal matter in it as long as it's sterilized fecal matter. Right. Doesn't that sound good? Yeah, you know, feed it's the sterilized. fish. It's feed okay. the fish. <laughs> Yucky. Yucky. Uh. So the bottom line is, processed meats are horrible for you, and everybody knows that. But bacon is like this god of food. Oh, well, Russ, yeah, well, listen, in this area that we are in, I dare you to go out and find something out in a restaurant that doesn't include bacon. Even a salad will have bacon on it. They put bacon on everything. It, and I told you guys right. one time that I was trying to, I, I told a, a waitress that I was um, vegan, because mm. that's the easy word, and was trying to explain and was trying to get some protein added and whatever. And she was like, okay. And they came out and my salad was loaded in bacon. Yes. And I'm like, ugh. Yes. And it's funny about that particular episode is that 
the manager actually is the one who brought out your salad. Right. And as he's going to lower it, he looked at the salad and he goes, there's a problem here. <laughs> like it just occurred to him, right? Mm -hmm. Which was kind of funny. So the bottom line is, is that processed meat not only is a carcinogen, which means that it causes, um, it causes cells to not replicate correctly. So when is that about uncured meat? So that's just what regular about meat? uncured uncured bacon? Uh, I don't know how. I didn't look up how bacon is actually made. I mean, I can tell you obviously bacon is an animal product, so it's going to have all of the issues with cancer promotion and it's higher fat than, than and it's higher fat right. and so that's going to have all the issues with heart disease and diabetes and high cholesterol and, and all, the, all the good stuff all yeah. of that stuff but look we're back oh that's nice good yeah, yes <laughs> um i don't know if uncured has all the same like nitrites in it because i don't know what curing bacon means i can look it up i can look and see um what it means i know and I, i'm probably wrong i always thought the curing process is when they salt it and dry it out so that you can actually eat it like, like jerky but that's probably wrong no I, i'm saying yeah i don't know wrong. i don't know i didn't look into cured versus uncured i mean i would recommend not to eat it at all oh we pixelated again um, oh, <laughs> so carcinogen which means causes cells to replicate incorrectly like break and then also cancer promoting which means that it takes those cells and makes them grow keeps your body from stopping that right. so just overall processed meats and i'm talking about you know again i'm gonna repeat it bacon ham sausage lunch meat chicken hot, nuggets hot, hot dogs. dogs anything like that is going to be just absolutely horrible for the human body it's not actually food right so, so i'm gonna have to say don't eat that don't eat that. Eat plants instead. Eat plants. And we're, no matter what they try to do to make it better, they're right. making it worse. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a vicious cycle, as they say. Yeah, it's so, almost like medications where they give you a medication that causes a side effect and then they give you another medication to treat that side effect. And pretty soon it's just like, okay, this is out of control. Makes you know it's eight pills and two shots later. Yeah, exactly. Right? Exactly. It's crazy. So that's what I wanted to share with you guys today about, uh, about bacon. I recommend against it. <laughs> That's and for those line. who are wat watching or, or join us late, um, and this, you see part of this video is pixelated. Robin will later upload the non-pixelated version. To the r, &R Journey to the page. R &R Journey so page. you can watch it without the pixelation. Because right. we have the camera going. We have the camera going, boy. So I'm definitely going to say if you're getting value out of these, please do like and share them. We love seeing the hearts and the thumbs up and all the fun stuff going across the screen. Yeah, that's awesome. That's always good. Um, we did join Instagram, so come follow us on Instagram. I'm right. posting stuff over there now trying to you know, join, grow our audience. And we're working on a book, so if you have stuff we need to include, please let us know what you feel like should be in our lay person book to the... Uh, whole food plant-based eating right. um i don't know what the title of it's going to be yet but we're working on it we have a few we're playing we have a few working titles i'm going to hopefully have a chat with my editor uh today or tomorrow to kind of get us on track which means yay we've added more stuff to robin's plate that needs to be done ah she can handle it it's getting out of control <laughs> so um, anything else we need to say? Oh, join our website. Yes, please. I have stuff over there that I add too. So there's a bunch of stuff yeah, on the I'm website. Gonna, I'm going to be adding a free video there today and also a members video, members video today. And, and the members video is part one. Part two will be next week. Right. And the community page where you can ask me questions directly. You have access to me directly on the community page and interact with other members on there. Right. So join our website, rnrjourney.com. Exactly. Did I get everything? Did I cover all the things we needed to say today? Like, share, join. YouTube. <laughs> Snow's coming. Snow's coming. I think we got everything covered. Okay. All right. Well, we have so much work to do, so we're going to go do that now. Right. Exactly. And so with that, we will say... Eat real food, not hot dogs, <laughs> not too much, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, guys. See you tomorrow.